Yo, what's good guys? So what's this video about? Well, before I get there, uh, if you would be so kind to drop a like and I have a giveaway. Uh, pfft, pfft, fuck that. Just kidding. For real though. Now there's a bunch of dope ass uh, PVE Destiny uh, players and you know much better than myself and they do super awesome stuff and we often talk about them um, and if you're a big part of the destiny PVE community you probably know who most of these people are if you stay involved with the challenges and the speed runs and stuff like that uh, but if you're if you don't pay attention as much and you like you know stuff that I upload for example you'll really 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 enjoy these channels I think these people deserve a lot of recognition uh, I do want to say, though, that, you know, I'm just picking a handful of people. There are more people. I'll probably make more videos like this. So if you do produce content, you're like, oh, man, he didn't give me a shout out, dude. I can only pick so many people, man. Uh, but I would really like to use uh, my reach to get some more exposure to some of these uh, cool, dope, kick-ass players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly mention each, each of the players, and then I'm going to link their channels, so their YouTube channels and or Twitch, in the description of the video. So the most important thing here, and please do this, is just go into the description of the video, click on their YouTube channels, and subscribe totally free. Literally takes a couple seconds per person, and it's really going to benefit you because you're going to have so much more more uh like cool challenge solo speed run, just just good destiny gameplay videos and uploads um in your youtube notifications so go do that uh but uh yeah about that giveaway one more thing big shout out to chevy frank and fammy as they also offered suggestions to this list all three are top tier players and good friends of mine but they barely ever upload to youtube Get on it, motherfuckers. They do all stream, though, so I'll still link their channels in the description with all of the others. So we're going to go in alphabetical order here. Number one, bum, 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 Axis Bake. So you know how many of you may know me from my crow defeats? Well, this guy is the king of, eh, you guessed it, Axis. World's first hard mode solo and many other crazy optimized solos. I do hope to see some D2 stuff from him, though. Number two, Aotera. This guy does a ton of mission speedruns, and I'm pretty sure he holds most or a lot of individual solo records. He also does do team speedruns with his clan. If that's your thing, check him out. Also, world's second Argos solo. Number three, Carolina Gamer. Super chill buddy of mine and a nice guy. He does a variety of stuff from solo challenges, low mans, speed runs, and a lot of meme kills. Go check it out for sure for some fun and funny stuff. Number four, Clawtivity. Does some pretty nutty stuff for sure. His biggest feat is world's first three-man Queen's Walk and world's first three-man Petra's Run. Also does various other quirky solo stuff. Let's not forget... Eight shots. <laughs> Number five, Conquer. Also does some pretty nutty stuff in a variety of activities. These include solos, low mans, and speed runs. You recently completed a three man last wish with three hunters, which is pretty neat. And he was the world's second three man Petra's run. Number six, Crushy. Crush is one of the newest members of my clan. He caught my attention with his solo Shattered Throne speedruns, currently holding the world record at 15 minutes. He also does speedruns with a team and various other low man challenges. Number seven, Eclipse. Eclipse does a variety of PvE challenge challenges. Check him out for raid speedruns, strike speedruns, solos, low mans, and just some funny meme stuff. Number eight, Ever. I wish Ever uploaded more stuff, but the stuff that he does upload or attempt is pretty nutty. He's the main competition for solo Shattered Throne speedruns and soloing Argos on a hunter in four shield breaks. And his mouse DPI is pretty fucking nutty. Number nine, Fish. My man does a lot of mission speedruns and quite frankly, owns them. Go check him out for some quality old school speeds number 10 flesh crunch his uploads have been pretty slow lately however he's done some speedy stuff he uploads all of his full world's first raid speedruns where he gets 
three belts coming his way and holds the crazy time for the fastest solo whisper mission. So I'll let you go check it out to see the runs. Number 11, GSXR Clyde, good buddy of mine and quality community member for helping others. He recently started uploading his low man challenges and funny meme bakes to YouTube. So go say hi. Number 12, Ice Side. Ice is also one of our newer Redeem members. He's participated in a variety of PvE stuff, such as strike speedruns, team speedruns, low mans, and meme kills. He's also the second group to finish Last Wish, and he got World's First Scourge of the Past. Number 13, I, 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 Tensions. They're just Tensions. I uh, used to love watching this guy and his solo challenges in D1. He's very dedicated to his solos, such as his 390 Crota One Swords in every way possible. He's completed a slew of D1 and D2 solo challenges, so if you like solos, go say what's up. Number 14, Iron. Iron is a dear longtime friend of mine, and he's inspired. He had originally inspired me to get into two man challenges in the first place. We used to speedrun two man Crota Zen, and we were world's first to two man Callus without using the space exploit where you get stuck. So go show him some love as he has recently started up his YouTube channel. Number 15, it's Whammy. Whammy has been a part of the Destiny PvE challenge community for a while. His his channel contains a variety of things from mission speedruns, raid speedruns, meme kills, and low man challenges. Number 16, Milix. Milax. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think he said Milax. Uh, this guy is actually insane and impresses me very, very much. He's completed so many unique solo challenges. Many of them are world's first, most notably soloing Kali, Argos, and the Spire of Stars entrance back to back to back, no wipes, world's first solo Argos in two damage phases, and world's first solo Argos on a Titan. Go watch. Number 17, Ouch, or Ouch MS, or Ouch My Scapula. I've talked about this guy many times before, but he's insane. He's done so many things that seemed impossible at first. I'll never forget when he soloed Kali in one phase, and recently he soloed Castellan without guns. But that's just a few things. Go peep him out. Number 18, Rick Yanks 13. You could definitely consider Rick a sort of low man and solo completionist if something can be soloed. He does it, maybe even on each character. So go check him out for some low man PvE cool stuff. Number 19, Shenzi. Shenzi was the world's first to solo Prestige Argos, and as far as I know, he was also the first to two-man Riven without taking screenshots to view the symbols. Solid, diverse player with some cool ideas. Number 20, Scrub. <laughs> so even though I think someone needs to punch this fucker in the mouth and knock some real-world sense into him, he's a good player, so I'll give him that. He seems to specialize in speedrun strats and speedruns, so feel free to go there for that. Number 21, Soul Drake, a.k.a. Poon. I would definitely consider Poon a pioneer player for developing some crazy strats. He's put tons of time into Low Man Last Wish stuff, being the first to three-man Queen's Walk and three-man Petra's run, and his reaction to the latter is probably my favorite, so go check it out. Uh, and number 22, we have Street Killer. Friggin' love this guy, man. Uh, very chill, remains humble despite coming up with the craziest strats for soloing raid encounters. I call him the Phase 1 Kid. He was world's first to solo Phase 1 Axis and Phase 1 Insurrection Prime. Both which seemed impossible. So go see. And last but not least, number 23, Vasek the Arc Priest. Another one of my favorite all-time gamers to watch. This is because of his crea creativity with solo feats. A few examples are, he developed a strat to solo King's Fall entrance and to solo the Age of Triumph, Crota's End Bridge without using a Warlock. He just does a buttload of solo challenges and is nutty while doing them all. So go peep them as well. So that's it. That about sums it up. Once again, description of the video. Click on the channels. Hopefully you find some awesome peeps, some good content, something that uh, floats your boat, so to speak. You guys have a good day. Thank you so much for participating. See you next time. Giveaway dope.